Yeah, put the cell in, Bill. Well, here it is, everybody. What do you think of it? Well, it sure is different. It looks delicious, but don't you think it's kind of stale? Well, it hasn't been feeling too well. You call that a fancy plant? It looks like it never spent an LT day in its entire life. I don't care. I like it anyway. You, you like even skunk cabbage. Yeah. What kind of a plant is this, Seymour? Well, I'm not sure. I got the seeds from a Japanese gardener over on Central Avenue. He found them in with an order he got from a plantation next to a cranberry farm. Fine, fine. You don't even know what is this plant you're growing. Well, well I gave it a name. What name? Oh, uh, What? You gave it a dirty name? You can't even mention it? Well, I named it Audrey Jr. <gasps> you named it after me! Oh, really? Well, that's the most exciting thing anyone's ever done to me. You poor kid. I don't think it's so much I should keep on spending $10 a week on your salary. But, Gravis, he named it after me. I know, and if they keep it, they'll name it Mushnik's Folly because I'll be in jail for non-payment of taxes. Are you crazy? Who, who? You, you. That's probably the only plant of its kind in the world. But you realize if Seymour can nurse that thing back to health, you'll have people coming here from all over? You think so, you found it? I know so, you mushed it. And that's all I'm saying on the subject. Besides, I've got to get home. My wife's making gardenias for dinner. Good night, you found. Good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Crazy about kosher flowers. He's a nice man. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. Maybe he's not so stupid. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll keep you and this dumbbell junior for a week. If you can nice it back to health, you both can stay. If you can't, you're both fired. Oh, gee, thank you, Mr. Mushnick. Don't feel sad, Seymour. Don't waste your pity on me, Audrey. I'm not worth it. Who says you're not? Everybody. Yeah, I know. But I think you're a fine figurative of a man, and... I know that Audrey Jr. will be the sweetest thing in the whole wide world. Well, I don't know. I've given it every kind of fancy fertilizer and atomic plant food and distilled mineral water you can buy, but it just gets thicker and thicker. Don't worry. You're going to be another Luther Glendale. Pasadena. Burbank. Good night, Seymour. Good night, Audrey. What's the matter, little plant? Haven't I done everything I could for you? Where did I go? You're the first little plant I ever tried to grow, and if you die, I don't know what I'll do. Please don't die. I'll get you some water, okay? Opened up just like you do every night at sunset. I wish I knew how to make you grow. Here, let me move this out of your way so you can breathe. Ow! 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 ow. Hey, what happened? How come you woke up? Blood? You like blood? Oh, you must be kidding. Well, we'll see. what I'm doing for you. Ow! Oh, who would have thought it? Well, I guess there's just no accounting for people's taste. Isn't he delicious? Isn't he got the two dollar raise? What happened to your fingers? A bee sting. Uh, so how come I'm all of a sudden so wonderful? Five bees, one for each finger? Ten bees. Did you say I was getting a two dollar raise? Correct, my very excellent Seymour. Ten bees. What did I do now? Don't you know what you did? Oh, oh boy, look at that. It's true. It's almost a foot long. Isn't it a miracle? 
It grows like a cold sore from the lip. Oh, hello, young pretty ladies. What can Gravis Mushnik do for you? Well, we saw your sign outside. About the Audrey Jr. So we thought we'd come in and take a look. Well, give a look. That makes four people a day who've come in just to look at it. Oh, dear, Shirley. Is that just too much? Oh, what kind of plant is it? It's an Audrey Jr. Where well, was it you got in trouble with 10 bees? Well, is that all? I mean, doesn't it have a scientific name? Yes, of course, but who could denounce it? You oh. would like maybe to buy something. Well, we don't have any money, except $2,000. But that's just to spend on flowers. So we don't have any of our own. Isn't that a drag? You got your t t t two thousand dollars just for to spend on flowers? Mm -hmm. That's right. Who died? The Chamber of Commerce? Well, we're from Cucamonga High School. We're building a float for the Rose Bowl parade, which is made out of flowers. Thousands of them. And we're on the committee that picks the flowers and then glues on the flowers. <sighs> Gee, that sure is a mad plan. Oh, wow, yeah. Seymour here invented it. He did! Oh, thousands of oh, girls, 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 please don't damage the horticulturist. Tell me, how come you don't buy all these thousands of flowers from Gravis Mushnik? My flowers got something the others don't. What's that? The cheek. Well, cheek, if your shop is good enough to develop the Audrey Jr., I guess it can get us everything we need. Yeah, we'll talk it over with the rest of the committee. Excellent. Well, we gotta run now. Bye, all. Bye, flowers. Bye. Bye, girls. A son. A son. Look, Audrey. I got a son. Oh, I see, Mr. Mushnick. What, Mr. Mushnick? I don't want you to call me Mr. Mushnick anymore. I want you to call me Dad. Okay, Dad. Isn't that beautiful? Seymour Krellboyne, come over here, my son. I want to talk on you about the future. Look on this fly trap. Look on it. Soon we got no more skid row. We will be rich. Us. I am building for you a giant greenhouse in which you are making impossible flowers, which in turn I am selling at ridiculous prices in my giant new flower saloon in Beverly Hills. Do you see that big sign in the sky? It is saying Gravis Mushnik in French. Isn't that exciting? And we'll have an orchestra right by the cash register. And Gravis will wave his arms. And the orchestra will play Mendelssohn's spring song. And I'll come out in a gown wrapped by somebody expensive and say... The carnations are $600 a dozen, two dozen for a thousand. It's a bargain. <laughs>